The other day when I was making a song for my video strumming, I got into the problem that I really just didn't know how to make melodies for the chords I made. There were only two chords and that kind of like, it just gave me the feeling of this is never gonna work. I kind of got into a loop of always doing the same thing. So even though I really like tried to do my method with trying one note at the time, it was just like, I really just wanted to give up instead. But then I got to think of an old trick. When I play solo, then often what I do is to imagine other chords than what the players are actually playing, because then I suddenly get the options of playing multiple things and really like get out there. And I was thinking, why not do the same when I'm making melodies here? When we are making melodies, then we are reacting to what we are listening to. So if we don't get inspired, then let's create something that we get inspired by. These are the two chords. And it's almost only one chord. So I was like really, really struggling, like it's a long time since I have been struggling this much for making a melody. I really just wanted to quit. So I opened up Labs and then I wrote these four chords. And with the guitars. It really just added some flavor to the music, which was really inspiring for me because two seconds after I made the melody that I ended up using, which I'm really satisfied with. Let's try to hear the melody only with the piano chords. Watching the time passing by While hanging me out to dry Once I you knew just when to say goodbye, goodbye. And then without the piano chords and only the guitar. Watching the time passing by while hanging me out to dry. Once I you knew just when to say Goodbye, goodbye. Of course, I could also have choose to leave the four chords there because the four chords are really beautiful. But in this specific situation, then the limit was that I was only allowed to use two different chords. So how can you choose chords? Let's try to find some new ones. Because for me, it's not about thinking, it's more about just listening and try to find some chords that you think fits. And if you think they fit, then they're good. So let's tr find the first. Watching, watching the time. This could fit. Watching the time. You can hear this doesn't fit, then it should be the major. This fits. No. This fit. No. This fit. So it's basically about trying out different. This fit. So it's basically about trying out different options and then try to make new chords on top of your already existing chords that you like to get inspired to make new melodies. This is also an extremely nice trick to have if you're working with some bass heavy music because making melodies for only a bass is actually really challenging. So by adding chords to your bass, then it can just become so much easier to make melodies. Then of course you can remove the chords afterwards, but you will have have like the inspiration to actually do something that really matters. Next time you have difficulties making melodies for maybe some simple chords, then try to add some new ones and delete them after you have made the melody. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up button and consider to subscribe to my channel. It would truly make me happy. Enjoy.